Hi, this is Wendy with MWD Adventures. We are at More Expo, April 2023. So come along and check out the vendors with us. All right, I have Tate here from Overland Spices. So I see you've got three different types of spices. Yes. What kinds do you have? Yes, so we have uh, three blends. The idea when we created these was to have uh, flavors that you could put over multiple things that weren't specific. That way you can put them in your camping box and leave them. Um, so the first blend, the most popular, is the Triple Locked. Um, you got to have the fun, punny uh, wording there, obviously for us Overlanders. Uh, triple Locked is salt, pepper, garlic with a little bit of red pepper flake. Um, it's general purpose. It goes over everything. Um, the next one is the Intense. It's more barbecue-y, a little sweet with a little spice. Um, it's really good on anything pork, uh, stir fry. Uh, a lot of people like it on ground beef, like in spaghetti. Um, and then the next one is Snorkel is a fish and seafood blend. Yeah. Um, it's actually got a chicken base, so it's really good on a lot of things. It's it's my favorite on potatoes or vegetables. So, uh, yeah, those are the three blends we have. We're working on one more blend. Um, I can't tell you what it's going to be yet, but hopefully <laughs> Top soon. Top secret right yep. now, huh? And then uh, bigger bottles. So our biggest complaint in our first year was we need bigger bottles. So bigger bottles are coming. Um, yeah, so... So That's how many us. ounces is this one? Yeah. This is three ounces. So this is basically two of these bottles. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, you can find us on all the social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, at Overland Spices. You can buy our spices online. Uh, yeah, we run some promos every now and again. So, so how much are they? They're eight dollars each. Um, or if you're at a show, catch us at a show, they're all three for twenty. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Awesome, yeah, thank you. So can you tell us a little bit about the different sizes that you have? Uh, eight different sizes. All of them have basically the same features, the same operability. Um, so same temperature range, minus eight up to 50. Um, all of them do have steel reinforced lids. So when you close them, you can sit on them, you can stand on them. They're going to hold the weight for sure. It is a, um, when you drop the lid, it does lock, so you don't have to actually press down on it to make sure that it is closed. The lids are removable on all of the models. Um, on the ones that open from the side, like a chest, like this one here, it's actually reversible as well. So you've got a separate set of stainless steel uh, pegs that are on the opposite side that you can reverse the lid. They all have reinforced corners. They have um, all of your digital controls on, oops, sorry. <laughs> it's up here on the 30. It's on the bottom on all the rest of them. But you do have all of your controls here, so you can set your temperatures, again, anywhere from minus 8 to 50, what kind of battery protection it has on it. So we've got a low, a medium, and a high battery protection. So that if you are connected 12 volt to your vehicle battery, this will actually die before your car battery will die. So you're not going to get stranded without power. Right, definitely. Um, and then as far as charging at what type, like I saw there's a, a regular yes. 120. Yes, and a 12 volt. So in the 12 volt, they all have a 12 volt adapter that's on the opposite side as well. So if once you have this in place in your vehicle, you realize that your connector is on the opposite end of yes. where you have the cord. You can just move the cord. You don't have to move the entire unit itself. Oh, that's nice. Right. Yeah. right. The compressor is a proprietary compressor. It is our own design. Um, it's smaller, quieter, more efficient than most anything that's out on the market today. Um, and we do use a hybrid blend of um, insulation in here as well. So, yeah. So how much would something like this start at? Right. So they'll range in price, rough and tough, they're going to range in price from 1000 to 2000 depending okay. on the size that you've got. Yep. Yep. Right. We also have available insulating covers for them. I have the lid off of this one, um, but you can yep. see that there is an insulation uh, cover that's available as well that's sold separately as an accessory. Hi, I am Dan from iCamper here. This is a cool setup for the cooking stove. It's much higher setting than some of the other competitors. So what can you tell us about it? Yes, yeah, so this is actually one of my favorite things that I bring camping. Um, just like incredibly versatile. When you're, when you're cooking out on the road, um, it's hard to like make a really good meal. But I feel like with this, this is the perfect chance to, you, know, you can throw anything on there, cook your veggies along the outside. Um, and it's really modular too. So you've got this skillet, right? It's just a classic skillet with a burner in there. Um, but you can also adapt it into like a tripod setup where you're just cooking over the fire over here. Um, as well as down low where you're sitting, you mentioned the height of it. Yes. Um, these adjustable legs you can do to any height. Um, so that over there is the same tripod? Yep. Yeah, so all oh, okay. of this is one 
uh, one set that can be configured in three different ways. You've got that really down low version, um, just up top standing cooking around the fire. Um, great conversation piece when you're just standing Definitely. around cooking. Um, great to have everyone around and just brings people together on cake. So what's your favorite thing to make in here? I've kind of really been into Mexican food lately, so ah. a little carne asada from like a local tienda, I just throw it right mm -hmm. on there. Um, now do you have like a cover to make it into like an oven type Yeah, thing? so you can do pretty much any type of standard cover over it, even just like throw a little cookware bowl on it. Yeah. Um, but one of the cool things for me is like, because of the shape of it, you're going to be cooking at different temperatures at each location. Mm -hmm. So it's really hot right in the middle, perfect to sear the meat. Um, you can even do like your corn tortillas on the outside um, and just put a whole meal together right on the way. How much does something like this go for? Yeah, so everything you see here comes in a set for $490. Um, that comes with the tripod, this sweet little cutting board um, set up, as well as the handles, um, a little scraper to keep it clean. Well, yeah. thanks a lot. Awesome, yeah, no worries. We have Danielle here with Smart Top Platforms. So what is this? This is for on the back of a truck. Correct. This is a miniature form, obviously. Right, this is our demo unit. So we, this is a fully welded aluminum um, truck bed cover. Uh, it's lockable, it has gas struts. They are rated for 550 pounds uh, dynamic load, twice that for static. Um, some cool features of our our topper are the um, tracks that, that are along the top and along the bottom where you can slide an MA bolt in and you can pretty much configure it however you like. You can put a bike on it, you can put jerry cans on it, you can put wheels on it, um, it anything really that you can think of. You can even mount a rooftop tent. And because the gas struts are strong enough, it'll lift easily so as long as it put a, a tent on top as long as it doesn't hit the front of your vehicle then yeah. you're still good. Oh, oh thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. I have Jeremy from New Holland Overland here. So find out that they're just down the road from where we live, which is really cool. <laughs> and we meet here in Minnesota. Yeah, or, ten hours away. Missouri. Missouri. <laughs> those end states other than Michigan. Right. All right, so what is your company all about? Yeah, so we're based in Holland, Michigan. We do custom fabrication, so we do a lot of stuff for Toyota, Subaru, um, pretty much any vehicle platform that you have. Um, we do a lot of vehicle outfitting as well, so we're a Skinny Guy Campers dealer. We also sell off-grid trailers that we have next to us, and then we have a whole bunch of other wonderful brands that we represent, so we can outfit your vehicle for whatever adventure you're doing. All right, very cool. Well, thanks. Yes, no Appreciate problem. It. Thank you, guys. Hey, I'm Jeff with Ratchet Wrangler. I'm gonna show you this real quick. Real quick and easy solution to your ratchet straps or tie downs. Roll this up around your hand like so. Give it a pinch. This does not have to be pretty because you're gonna take that along with your ratchet component, which you already have in the Ratchet Wrangler. And slide that in there. Take your hook, pass it through the top and close the lid. So now that we're here, we're compressed. It's not going to move around, not going to tangle around itself. The hook is going to stay through this hook uh, loop in the top so that it doesn't drop to the bottom of the bag. It'll make it accessible when you're ready to use it again. And there's also a carabiner hook on the top, so you can hang it up if you'd like. When you are ready to use it again, you just fold your lid back, grab that hook that you made accessible, and pull it out. It comes out nice and clean every time, ready to go. Pack of three for 20 bucks. I have Tim from Zero Breeze here with me. So what can you tell me about the Zero Breeze? Well, it's a battery-powered compact air conditioner. It's a real air conditioner, not a swamp cooler. It has a compressor, evaporator, a condenser. It has a condensation drain on the back. It's a 24-volt system. It has an 840-watt-hour battery that'll run it for about four to six hours, depending on how you have it set up here. It has three compressor speeds, and it has four fan speeds. You can also has also has a light. And it also has a fan, so you can just use it as a fan too. It comes with a number of accessories over here. Like it comes with this one here for the front, so you can duct your air where you want it. And it comes with the dual hose setup to get the heat out of your tent or the camper. How much does something like this cost? Uh, at the shows, they do a 10% discount. So with the battery, they're doing $14.99. Without a battery, it's like $8.99. So you can just plug it in with 120 if you wanted to? It, it, it comes with the AC adapter so you can okay. plug it in and run straight on 120 or you can use their battery. And if you buy the dual battery setup, they have this piece right here that is a, uh, it is a power distribution. It allows you to hook up two batteries, charge the batteries, and hook, run the AC at the same time. Uh, 
on. In this trailer right here. And these are the uh, the uh, heat exchange vents okay. right here. And if you look right back here, right, they have it mounted on the shore. All right, thanks a lot for showing us oh, the no zero problem. breeze. No problem. So I have Paul from Insta Privy here. So can you explain to me what your product is all about? Yes, thank you. Hey, so this is an Insta Privy. It's a portable toilet kit and a backpack. Everything's in here. You got your toilet chair, privacy tent, a set of five waste bags. You got your shovel if you run out of waste bags. Uh, toilet paper, hand sanitizer. It's a padded backpack front and back with snowball backpack strap, so it's going to last you a long time. Kind of set up like the old picnic baskets too. So let me show you how this works. Uh, one of the really neat things is the kit weighs only seven pounds for oh, wow. everything that's in there, and it sets up in just seconds. The chair comes out like this, and you put the waste bags right across the top, uh, and then drop in this absorbent pad. It'll soak up like 50 ounces of water, okay. so it's kind of cool. Um, and then you grab your privacy tent, and it just pops open just like this, and just like that, you are ready to go. <laughs> I love it. Super quick, super simple. You have 360 degrees visibility, and inside you got a pocket for your toilet paper and hand sanitizer. If you're bored, you can read the instructions that are in there. Nobody does. No, you're gonna have your phone instead. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, it also works as a shower, and for changing clothes for a shower, you want to have it a little bit off the ground so it won't splash up mud or everything. But you can hang this from your awning, from your your rig. Uh, and one of the really neat things about this kit is. It fits in any Jeep, any you know, any uh, overland vehicle, uh, and you can use it for so many different reasons. Uh, but uh, it packs it, up so small, and it packs up so compact. Yeah, yeah. and it's best to use the waste bags always, but it's smooth on the inside for a reason. Uh, so you can use it without a waste bags if you run out, and it makes it super easy to clean. Uh, also, if you've used the other products, you'll you'll see that this is nice and uh, generous space. The other products give you a little space like that to do your business. So, anyway, so that, that's it. That's the so, answer. how much weight so, can this hold? I'm sorry? What's the weight that you oh, hold? The, the, so, the weight, uh, we're saying 350 pounds. Okay. We, had, uh, we sent it to a lab. They tested a squash test. It was just over 3,000 pounds it fell. Uh, and then we did a stress test. So, it's uh, at 350 pounds and it did great. So, um, it, it'll support most people out there yep. and it's uh, super quick and easy to use. So is this something we can buy online or only at shows? Yeah, uh, you can buy it online. Uh, 150 bucks is the retail price and uh, our website is instaprivy.com. Alright, thank you. Awesome, thanks Wendy. Yep. Appreciate it. So I have Lisa here from Tom's Fire Pits with me. These are some really cool fire pits you have. How long does it take to make one of these? It takes Tom about two weeks to make these. They're all custom made, they're hand drawn, hand cut. And um, what kind of material are they made out of? So we have quarter inch still. Okay. And then we have quarter inch stainless still. Okay. And so can you actually do an actual fire in these? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The quarter inch still you can do fire. The quarter inch stainless still we can do fire and water features. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. We have a lot more vendors to explore as we return for part two of More Expo 2023.